Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Green. I'm the director of the National Human Genome Research Institute at the National Institutes of Health, and I'm here with my wonderful sidekick. I'm Dr. Carla Easter, also at the National Human Genome Research Institute at the National Institutes of Health, and I'm the education specialist. And today we're here to isolate strawberry DNA using household things, I guess. Uh, basically, we are going to show you how to get DNA out of a strawberry. Great. And, and why do we pick strawberries? Well, so for me, there are many reasons. The first of all, they smell really nice. Mm -hmm. They're very pretty. The other thing is they're nice and edible, and their seeds are on the outside of the strawberry. And I have found that it's very easy to get DNA out of a strawberry. Yeah. Although, of course, like all living things, they have DNA. We could pick a variety of different mm -hmm. um, other things to purify DNA from. We just pick strawberries because it's easy. Exactly. And they're easy to get. There we go. So. Okay. You ready to start? Yep. How do we, what do we do? So the first thing we're going to do is take our frozen strawberries. You notice they don't yeah, look like those nice that. strawberries. Yeah, right. And we're going to place them into this plastic bag. And now you could purify DNA from these strawberries or oh, these. Certainly. We, we just picked frozen ones because they're squishier and mushier, right? And yes. we're going to. And you can get them any time of the year. Yeah, that's true. Okay. So we're putting it here in the plastic bag. Yep. And the reason we're doing that is because the first thing we need to do is. Bust them open. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. And, and the reason for that is that the DNA is inside the cells in that strawberry. And uh, we got to get that DNA to sort of go into solution so that we can purify it. And so Excellent. we do this, and I'm going to smash them, and I'm going to point this towards you just in case <laughs> it breaks open. But I know my job here is just to smash them all up. Smash them up. Excellent. So while Dr. Green is smashing, I'm going to make what's called a lysis solution. Lysis. Lysis. That's, that's, what, what, what does lysis so mean? So lysis means to break open. Yeah. And the purpose of the lysis solution is to break open the strawberry cells to get to the DNA, which, as Dr. Green said, is inside the strawberries. And a cell is just basically a, a bag of living materials, living different kinds of molecules, surrounded by a membrane, sort of think of maybe like saran wrap. Or you can think of it actually like a water balloon. And Excellent. we need inside, instead of water, there actually is water, but yep. in there is also DNA. And we're going to do a, use a solution to bust open these cells or bust open these teeny, teeny little water balloons. Excellent. So we're going to use household chemicals, as we said at the beginning. This is just regular detergent. Yep. Just when like for cleaning dishes. Exactly. Or you could use hand soap yep. or shampoo. Yep. Works really well. So two teaspoons of detergent. We're going to take a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add half a cup of water. Okay. And I'm going to stir this up. Okay, I think the strawberry puree is, 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 already? is, is ready to go. Perfect. So, here we go. The detergent and mm -hmm. the salt together are going to just bust open those little cells, mm -hmm. those little water balloons. So I'm going to do this, and I know I'm not supposed to pound on it no, anymore. No, Other, right. Otherwise, we actually will get a shower. There we go. With soap and all. So the point is you don't want to create a lot of bubbles as you're mixing the lysis solution around with your strawberry puree. Otherwise, you just have a bubble bath. That's right. Okay, so we're just in, and you, I can just hear the go. water balloons just <laughs> busting Can you hear that inside. DNA coming it out? It is, and it's, it's saying, I'm, I'm free, I'm free, I'm liberated, I'm in solution now. So, Excellent. Okay, but now we have all bits and pieces of strawberries mixed in with mm -hmm. all this liquid. So that's probably a little bit too ooky exactly. for what we need to do. It would be very hard for us to see the DNA in this mess that we've created. Right. So what we're going to do is filter. And as you can see, I'm using just a regular coffee filter, just one that you would use for making coffee at home in a coffee maker. And, and it's just going to pull out. It's just going to separate out the liquid from the strawberry gook. Gook is a technical it's term great. we use here in genetics. All so, the time. Yeah. So we're going to pour. We don't actually need all of it, we just need a good amount, right? Exactly. And what I'm going to do is just fold the edges up and make just a small little sack. And this just makes it easier to push the DNA that's in the liquid away from the big pieces of strawberry. And you want to be gentle. You don't want to squeeze so hard that you actually break the filter. Otherwise, the you'll gook. put the gook will go That's back right. in there. It's like coffee grounds that would just get in your exactly. coffee. Exactly. Right. 
Okay, does that look good? Looks good. Perfect. All right, so this is basically the material that was in the cells of the strawberry. Mm -hmm. And it has lots and lots and lots of different kinds of chemicals in there because all the contents of a strawberry cell. Mm -hmm. But the good news is that a lot of DNA should be there because That's strawberries have a lot of DNA. Yep. And so we need to get the DNA out of solution mm -hmm. because it's now dissolved in, right. in, that, in, the, in the detergent. Okay. So we're going to do what's called precipitation. Okay. Precipitation. Precipitation. So it's going to rain. It's going to rain, okay. basically. All so right. when you think about precipitation in this case, hopefully if we've done this right, the DNA will fall out of solution. Mm -hmm. We'll actually get to see the DNA start to form. Just as the rain comes out of the clouds or the snow, we'll see DNA start to form in our solution here. Or in science, or in particular mm -hmm. in chemistry, when you talk about precipitation, it's often about something that's in solution becoming solid again or becoming material that you could then see and, and manipulate not in a liquid form. And so we're going to try to get the DNA to come out of solution. Excellent. So to do that, what do we do? We're going to use just regular rubbing alcohol. So just the, any old rubbing alcohol that you would buy in any old drugstore. Right. Okay. And this is not the alcohol you drink? Nope, certainly not. And uh, we're just going to pour an equal amount, right, mm -hmm. to the That's strawberry right. juice, if you will. So I'll just carefully pour. Stop about there. Perfect. And what you immediately see, of course, is, exactly. is almost like two different layers forming. Exactly. So you can see two different sort of phases. So you have all that red stuff that's at the bottom, and then we've got something that's forming up here in the top. Slimy, gunky, gross, almost like snot <laughs> or a cotton ball, <laughs> sort of cotton ball in liquid. Excellent. What's interesting is that the redness of the strawberry is not in the upper layer, it's in the lower layer. Mm -hmm. And uh, so what, what the, what's, what's the gunky, slimy stuff? I uh, don't know. I think it's the <laughs> DNA. <laughs> what do you think it is? I, I, I remember <laughs> in medical <laughs> school, <laughs> you know, in medical school, they, they, you know, we started with strawberries and uh, we learned strawberry medicine and here awesome. we go. So yeah, so you can sort of see the DNA precipitating, precipitating. coming out mm -hmm. of solution into a solid form. And, it's, it, and there's a lot of it. Awesome. So you can see that nicely. So I guess we can use something, and we just mm. happen to hear a popsicle mm -hmm. stick with a little bit notch, to go in, and we can just, just touch it and very easily pick it up. It looks like just a awesome. big old slimy wad of strawberry DNA. That's awesome. Now, what, now that you have it, you have mm -hmm. it separated. This is purified DNA. DNA. And mm -hmm. actually, what's amazing is that it has no red with it at all. It's just totally white, mm -hmm. which is exactly what DNA should be. Well, what, what, what can you do with this after you've done it? So I always tell the students when I'm doing this in the classroom that, first of all, this is extremely dirty. So if we were going to do any sort of experimentation, we'd want to clean it up. Yep. But one of the things you could do is actually analyze this DNA. So just as you would watch CSI or any of those other forensic shows, this is the same way they would isolate DNA from skin or from blood or anything, just using different chemicals. So the opportunity would be to now analyze it and sort of figure out what is it, where is it from. Right. No, so this, of course, is strawberry DNA, mm -hmm. but in mm -hmm. hospitals, increasingly now, mm -hmm. we're purifying DNA from blood or mm -hmm. from scrapes mm -hmm. from inside mm -hmm. of your cheek mm -hmm. and doing all sorts of medical tests. And mm -hmm. that, in many ways, is the future of medicine, is, is looking at humans' DNA and trying to figure out uh, things about it that yep. may be relevant for your health. And now, for, for students at home who actually do this, can they save this DNA? How would of they do course. that? Of course. Actually, you could put it into a sealed container and put it in the refrigerator, and it would stay for a long time. Like a, pla like a Ziploc like bag? Like a Ziploc bag like or a small tube, container. as long as you could seal it up. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so if they want to do this at home, what do they, how, do, how do they get so instructions? So if you to wanted out how to, to do, do this, you could visit our website and just go and look at the instructions and do exactly what Dr. Green and I did here and isolate your own right. strawberry and we have DNA. Point by point, tell them exactly what to do. Exactly. Those instructions are on our website. Well, that's great. Okay. So, uh, this was wonderful. Thanks for helping me do Thank this. You. And I hope everybody enjoyed it.